In this video, I am taking you along on one of my favorite days in Vietnam, a day tour through Lan Ha and Ha Long Bay from Cat Pa Island. But before I get into the big day, let's talk you through how I got here and where I decided to stay. I got a night bus from Sapa at 11.30 p.m. We got a snack and a bottle of water. It was comfortable enough for me to sleep all the way to Hanoi, where we arrived at 5.30 a.m. and then transferred onto the next bus at 6 a.m. That one took us to the port around 8 a.m. to catch the ferry to Kampa Island. We waited for a bit at the port before boarding the ferry and this ferry was super fast and in no time we got on another bus on the island that dropped us off at our accommodations. Another popular city to stay is Ha Long which is north of the island but everyone recommended me the less popular Katba Island. I stayed at Buffalo Hostel which was a beautiful new hostel with great rooms and showers as well as a nice swimming pool and restaurant area breakfast was included and amazing and every evening they had an hour of free beer which made the place super social and ending in a daily pub crawl with free transfers from 10 to 1. The only downside to the hostel is that it is pretty far out of town. So I rented a scooter to drive around the city and take in the scenes before having an amazing dinner at Yummy. I came here two nights in a row because the food was so good. <laughs> day we were picked up at the hostel and taken to the cruise terminal. I booked the tour with the hostel and didn't regret it at all. You see around Oria, fishing village. Yeah. And then after we go now, we go to see Lan Habai Oria. And then 10.30, we stopping here for everyone enjoy swimming. As we were explained, the first impressive sight along the trip was the Lang Chai fishing village. This is a floating village and every time I come across a village like this on my travels, I am so amazed by it. After passing through these stunning karst mountains for a while, also coming across the impressive overnight cruise, we finally arrived at our first stop of the day. It couldn't have been a more beautiful spot. The water is so nice and warm. We are now swimming towards the island. There's a few tunnels and a few beaches. It's so beautiful. The water is amazing. Once we made it onto the island, we each picked up a rock and started walking towards the other side of the island. We honestly were not prepared at how stunning this place would be. How crazy is it to be inside of an island, in a tiny beachy jungle in between those tall karst mountains. Unreal. As if we didn't enjoy it already, coming out on the other side topped it all off. I love these landscapes in Thailand and I love them just as much here in Vietnam. These Karst Mountain Islands are honestly one of my favorite landscapes ever. This was already my perfect day, but the best was yet to come. After some more tunnels, we made it back to the boat for lunch. This lunch definitely did not disappoint. It is time to go kayaking. We've just had an amazing lunch and we are somewhere in between the groups. So now a group is coming back and we are meant to be going right now before it is the peak moment of kayaking. Very excited. If you know me, you'll know that I love kayaking. Oh my God. Oh, my God. oh wow. It's gonna jump up. Oh, he done. Oh, it's 
Too many guys have been today. Everyone see they're moving here. Look. Peter. Oh yeah. Oh wow, the tail. Before getting in the kayaks, the guides were eager to show off the giant groupers here. But if you know me, you'll already know that I'm not a fan of animals in captivity. I was also just very impatient to get in the kayak. Aside from a few boats, we didn't come across anyone else, so I do believe that we were here at the perfect time. Come on then. Oh, oh, yeah. Should I jump? Guys, that's a it I couldn't believe that I was one of the only people who saw this rare monkey. I think spotting animals is actually one of my secret talents. Then it was time for some more excitement. Passing through the different tunnels connecting the lagoons. Just as we left, multiple boats arrived. It was honestly perfectly timed. After one last dip in the ocean, at this beautiful island, we were welcomed on a boat with fresh fruits and some shots as we got to enjoy the amazing golden hour. But we were in for one more surprise. This was probably my favorite day in Vietnam. If you want to see what I get up to in Vietnam, then definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. My time in Vietnam has been absolutely incredible. So if you don't want to miss any of that, I will see you in the next video. Bye.